Hello and welcome to episode 24 of Saab Fever. My name is Frank and in today's episode we'll be fitting a steering rack brace to a Saab 93. It's quite a common issue on the new generation 900 and original generation 93s which largely share the same chassis. The steering rack is actually mounted to the firewall at the back of the engine bay. Sadly, the firewall was never really designed to um, support anything like that. And over time, it can lead to cracking of the firewall and then uh, excessive play in the steering wheel as the uh, steering rack moves around freely by itself. Although the original generation 95 is built on the same chassis as well, um, it is stretched slightly and because of that the steering rack had to move forward and is therefore mounted on the subframe instead of the firewall so 95s don't suffer from this issue. I believe the original one of these was um, designed and manufactured by uh, Abbott Racing. Um, the one we've got here we've gone for the uh, cheaper option here it's roughly half the price the Abbott one's 200 quid roughly and um, the parts for Saab one's about a hundred. I've got the instructions up on screen so you can follow along. Um, I'll be honest, well, one of the things that annoyed us the most about this was actually the instructions. Um, I, I think some photos or diagrams would really have helped with some of this. I mean, we, we were kind of okay up till about step eight, where it says it removed the bolt from the ABS support bracket. It would be nice if you told us which bolt to remove. Yeah, here we are progressively tightening up both nuts. Um, again, it warns you not to over tighten them, but you have no idea how tight you are supposed to do them up. Um, we come into this problem later on, actually. Now, here we are trying to guess which way this um, brace actually goes. We know it connects to the bottom of the steering rack, but um, we don't particularly know which way round it's supposed to go uh, or what nut it connects to. We're pretty sure we've got it sussed here uh, this way around and connecting to the very, very bottom of the ABS support mount. It's just sitting on here, it's not actually connected. So next up begins the fiddly task of connecting the, uh, the nut and the bolt at both ends. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's just down to the kit we had or if it's something to do with this engine and or gearbox combo but um, the the supplied bolts um, are actually too long uh, th this engine it's the um, I believe it's the two liter non-turbo uh, with an automatic gearbox and we just could not get that bolt in um, I'll show a picture in a sec but uh, luckily I had a slightly shorter bolt in the shed there's the there's my replacement on top uh, thankfully with that we were actually able to get it mounted okay so that's all back together now here's a first test and it's a failure you can see the steering rack itself moving around inside the mount uh, we were warned about over tightening but we thought right that's fine let's tighten it up even more and although it looked good at first, it then failed completely. It just it moved more so, in fact. Back. 
Now it looks like we started to strip one of the nuts there when we tried it. So again, another replacement nut. Uh, this time we um, used some foam I had left over from um, doing the PCV upgrade on the 9.5. Uh, we figured that would work as a nice sort of spacer. It's holding the steering rack solid, uh, even the, but there is still a bit of play, as you can see, in the um, in the brace itself. Uh, but at least it is holding the steering rack. Uh, so there it is, all fitted. Uh, as you can see, we've also used a bit more of that foam there. Um, sadly, the brace seems to touch the the aircon lines there, which is unfortunate. Um, it's a shame really I mean it, it's it's an alright kit like I say it's half the price of the Abbott Racing one um, it would be nice if the instructions were clearer they could also in, like I said include slightly shorter bolts so that you can actually fit them um, because the gearbox is just far too close to that to the ABS mount and uh, I mean they mention in their instructions that um, you can you know put a bit of tape on pad it you know pad it all out well it'd be nice if you maybe gave us a bit of foam or thick tape to do that with rather than relying on us supplying the parts um i mean thankfully it has sorted the problem you know um it, even with those criticisms though i mean to be fair to it it's half the price of the abbott one and it has sorted the the vagueness and um clunking noise coming from the steering so, as always, thanks for watching.